Welcome to Librarian Recommends. Hi, my name is Trish and I'm one of the librarians at Barbican Library. I'm going to bring you some suggestions of books to read or listen to via a Librarian Recommends session each week on a Thursday. You can download ebooks and audiobooks using our free RB Digital app. If you need help using the app, please take a look at our user guide video, which you can find in the video section on the left of this Facebook page, or go to our YouTube channel using the link above. Today, I'm going to concentrate on medical themed books. Firstly, I'm going to mention some ebook titles you might be interested in trying. First up is Medicus by Ruth Downey. Gaius Petrius Russo is a military medicus or doctor who transfers to the 20th Legion in the remote Britannia port of Diva, which is modern day Chester, to make a fresh start after his unpleasant divorce and the death of his father. Having previously been posted in Africa, Russo is unimpressed with this part of the Roman Empire. He's depressed, tired and overworked, and he succumbs to a moment of weakness, buying an injured slave girl, Tilla. Meanwhile, he is called upon to examine the body of a young woman who is believed to have drowned. However, his examination reveals that this was not an accidental or natural death. And when other young women working out of the local bar start turning up dead, Russo becomes a reluctant detective. Can he stop the murderer before the murderer stops him? This is an enjoyable murder mystery with plenty of humour and historical detail. How about the language of kindness? A Nurse's Story by Christy Watson. Before she became an award-winning novelist, Christy Watson spent 20 years working as a nurse in the NHS, and this is her beautifully written memoir. From her early days as a student nurse, when she fainted at the sight of her own blood filling a syringe, to her final days as a very senior nurse delivering a baby in the hospital car park, Watson gives a frank and vivid account of a career spent among the recovering and the dying, Although Watson specialised in paediatric intensive care nursing, her long career saw her tending to patients in all areas of the hospital system, including A&E, maternal delivery suites, mental health wards and operating theatres. She recounts stories and events that were gladdening and encouraging, while not shying away from those that were desperately sad and heartbreaking. This is an intimate and powerful book that shines a light on what it means to be a nurse, how it's a job defined by acts of care, kindness and compassion, and how essential yet undervalued the nursing profession remains. Next up is The Prison Doctor by Dr Amanda Brown. In 2004, Amanda Brown, a GP in a Buckinghamshire village for 20 years, resigned in protest over government plans for new GP contracts and working practices. It wasn't long before she was contacted by a recruiter for the prison service, offering her, her a position as a prison doctor. She accepted the job, and this is the story of her transformation from a sheltered local GP to a passionate advocate on behalf of prisoners. It charts her time working in HMP Huntercombe, then a young offenders institution for juveniles aged 15 to 18, where she mostly treated self-harm injuries. She had a relatively easy time there compared to her next placement in Wormwood Scrubs. Brown found patient consultations here rather more fraught. She describes dealing with attempted suicides, violent drug fueled psychosis and brutal attacks on prisoners by fellow inmates. Her final move was to HMP Bronzefield, which is Europe's largest women's only prison. And here she finds that the female prisoners are more open and grateful for her help. This is an honest, compassionate and thought-provoking insight into a world most of us know very little about. My next suggestion is The Butchering Art by Lindsay Fitzharris. This is the story of surgeon and medical pioneer Joseph Lister. Earliest 19th century operating theatres were grim places known as gateways of death due to half of all patients not surviving their surgery. The discovery of anaesthesia although making the operations much less traumatic for patients, did nothing to improve mortality rates and actually led to more deaths, as people spent longer under dirty knives wielded by unwashed hands in unsanitised theatres. In squalid, overcrowded hospitals, doctors were puzzled by persistent infections that kept survival rates low 
and death rates high. It was a quiet, self-effacing Quaker surgeon who would solve the problem of this deadly infection, thus forever changing the course of history. This is a fascinating and eye-opening journey into a crucial period of surgical and medical history and the innovations made by a visionary surgeon that saved countless lives. My final ebook is The Complete Blood, Sweat and Tea by Tom Reynolds. This is a collection of two volumes of the true life stories of an emergency medical technician working for the London Ambulance Service. The book is made up of entries from Reynolds' award-winning blog, Random Acts of Reality, which has detailed his daily working life since 2003. He describes the people and incidents he is called to deal with during his shifts driving the ambulance. No two days are the same, and the situations he must deal with range from the tragic to the hilarious, from the heartwarming to the terrifying. While trying to do his job, he is attacked by strangers, sworn out by angry motorists, vomited on and covered in blood, as well as, as, well as other more disagreeable substances. This is a fascinating, entertaining and moving account of the stresses and the successes that define the important and often overlooked work of an EMT. And now on to some audiobooks. Being read to is a really immersive experience and can really make you feel part of the book you are listening to, so it's well worth a listen. My first audiobook is The Good Doctor of Warsaw by Elizabeth Gifford. This is a novel based on real life events that took place during World War II and the true accounts of the three protagonists of the book. This is the powerful story of Dr. Janusz Korczak, a physician paediatrician and the director of an or orphanage in Warsaw, and Misha and Sophia, two students deeply in love and hoping to marry. All their lives are turned upside down with the Nazi invasion of Poland and the creation of the Warsaw Ghetto. The couple help Dr Korczak to continue caring for the 200 children in his charge under the German occupation. Surrounded by unimaginable horror, horror and surviving in appalling conditions, Dr Korczak's dedication to the orphans never wavers and despite being offered sanctuary numerous times by the Polish resistance, he refuses to abandon them. This is a harrowing yet incredibly moving story that will stay with you for a long time after you finish listening to it. Next up is Hard Pushed, a midwife story by Leah Hazard. This is a look into the world of modern mid midwifery through the eyes of a practising midwife. Hazard writes a frank account of what it's like to work on the NHS front line with never-ending demands within a system that's at breaking point. Being a midwife is a tough job physically, emotionally and mentally. Hazard writes about some of the women she has cared for over the course of her career. Women of all ages, races and life circumstances. Some of their stories are uplifting, others are heartbreaking. Hazard also highlights the invaluable camaraderie among her colleagues on the maternity unit, which enables them to work under intense pressure. Hard Pushed is a compassionate and intensely candid portrait of the gruelling yet rewarding work undertaken by those caring for women at some of the most important, challenging and life-changing moments of their lives. My final audiobook is The Doctor by Lisa Stone. When Emily and Ben move into a new house with their young son, Robbie, they are keen to get to know their new neighbours. Dr Amit Berman, a respected anaesthetist, and his wife, Alicia, live next door. The couple seem a little odd to Emily. Alicia appears fragile and unusually subdued. She has an incurable disease and is looked after by her hostile husband, who spends every night locked in an outbuilding at the bottom of their garden. Emily quickly becomes intrigued by the goings-on next door and tries to befriend a reticent Alicia in a bid to learn more about the situation. When Alicia eventually feels ready to open up, she swears Emily to the utmost secrecy. She must tell no one of the things she is about to hear, not even Ben. And when Emily goes missing, her husband is distraught. This is a creepy and sinister medical thriller to get your pulse racing. I do hope you enjoy these ideas for your next read, even if it's a genre you've not thought of reading before. You may well enjoy reading something different. And don't forget, if these titles I have suggested are unavailable when you look, you can search by genre and availability 
in the RB Digital app. Do use the comments section below to add your own suggestions of medically themed books you think our customers might enjoy. And if we don't already have them available in our RB Digital collection, we will see if we can add them. Before I go, I would again like to thank my colleague Lynn for her invaluable help putting these recommendations together. Stay safe and well, and see you next week. Bye.